Michael, it must be you really enjoying the run. We've discussed it a lot of times. But if I talk to you um, after the game at Blackpool, you're on the coach going back to, to Lincolnshire. I said you were going to go on the kind of run you've gone on. I know you're an upbeat, optimistic person, but you'd probably maybe give me a sideways look. Um, yeah, I think I wouldn't say I'm optimistic. I'd say I'm realistic. Um, I think the group's always been capable um, of winning games. I think the challenge for any football team is to consistently do it. Um, so I think the consistency that we've shown for, for the group and the young group has been phenomenal. Um, and we just want to keep that going. I think the only way to keep that going is to park what's gone before it's been done and keep focusing on the next one and not look too far ahead. And I know it's cliche, <laughs> but it is literally that, just making sure that we perform in the next the next game and the next the next challenge, if you like. And what was pleasing as well is you've overcome a lot of difficult moments. I know you said to me post-match you know, there are more ups and downs to come, but when you look back, you've had them. You've had the, the injuries to key midfielders, other issues that you've come through and players, as we've talked about before, have stepped up. Yeah, I think the reason I say that is because I think there is like twists in the roads, ups and downs, and I still think there's probably some to come for everybody that's in this race. Um, but it's, it's football. It is what it is throughout the season. I think for me, it's like... I'm a leader that's quite calm in ups and downs because I think you need that consistency. But you know, every team talks about injuries, so we've got injuries, but other teams have got injuries. And I think sometimes you've just got to find a way to get through it and find a way to win. And I think what this group has been brilliant at is when they've been called upon to play in either a position they're not used to or been called upon because someone's got injured and they've been on the fringes, they've stepped up. And ultimately what that does is create competition and then the competition creates a training environment that's healthy and pushed every day. Uh, and they're doing that in a good way and I think they're, they're in a good spot. You talk there about pushing each other, there's something that Paul Simpson said to the local media up in Cumbria after I just wanted to read to you. Uh, they're coming off the pitch having an argument with each other because they're saying they're not doing it properly and they wanted to fight for each other and they had a real desire about them. He was talking about your players, that's a, for me a great compliment isn't it? Yeah I know Paul well from my FA, he's a great coach and he's um, a great leader and a great man so um, and he's honest and it's great to hear that from, if, if that's what he said, I haven't heard it, but if he's heard that, it's great to hear that from the lads. And I think they know from the framework and how we want to play what's required of them. So, we, you know, we've set out a really clear identity of what we want to do. And then ultimately they know when they've done it to the level they're capable of doing and when they haven't. And if, if, if that's what we've got going on and the passion and the drive to keep doing well, it just shows you the power in the group at the moment. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're passionate, they want to do well, they want to push they want to, and they want to keep improving. And, you know, we want to keep improving as a team all the time. Um, and in moments of the game against Carlisle, the first 25 minutes, we were electric again. Probably took our foot off the gas a little bit, um, but they found a way to win again, and their quality showed through in the end, which was which was really pleasing. I was saying to Teddy, I felt like the second goal was quite important in in the sense of maybe other teams watching you because now you've got that thing that they might be pushing players forward for a set piece of corner, a free kick around your box, but they know what potential you have to go very quickly in the other direction. Yeah, I think every goal is important <laughs> because goals change games. Mm. So I think and the they're more in the long term. Yeah, no, of course, yeah, but I mean like every goal because the first goal, you know, gets us on the front foot again. The second goal takes the pressure off because they came out like a rocket and we were under. The, under the pressure a little bit, um, but we've got pace and power on the front line and we've got quality and we can defend well. So, you know, we're starting to grow into a team that can hurt you in different ways. And then finding a way to win that we talk about is important. And as we go into the next five games, teams are changing the way they play to try and find a solution. And in some ways that makes it harder for us, but in other ways we have to stick to our principles and what we're about. And when we stick to our principles, we're, we're a tough team to, to play against if, if we perform on the day. Joe Taylor seems, you know, he's got a great record, but it feels like he's got perhaps more composure now than perhaps when he first came in the club. He, he rushed things a little bit. Now when you look at that that goal, there's a great degree of composure about it. Yeah, a great goal, great finish. And, you know, but Joe's doing things now that, for me, he wasn't doing when he came into the building. So he's getting his rewards through chances and goals, but he's doing things like pressing better. He's working harder in moments of the game where we need him to react quick. He's, he's starting to grow into more of an all-round talent. Um, and, and that's why he came to us, you know, our job is to him to affect us and make us better, which I think he's done and he's a great character around the building. Um, but also, you know, my job is to help him improve because we know he's a lone player for Luton and that's what they wanted. So I think at the minute that relationship's going really well with Joe and, I, and what I'm really pleased with like Joe Van and Freddie and Joe, they're improving. Um, and I think that's, that's important to say that it's not only about the here and now, it's we can see them improving as we keep going on as well. So yeah, really pleased with, 
with all the front line, with, with all the, the def with everybody, like in the moment, because I'm seeing the passion to improve and the desire to get better, as well as performing to the level we need to. And also the the buying you mentioned, Joe, but obviously Alex as well, two loan players, and you'll know in football sometimes you see loan players and they don't really have a connection to the club they're at. But that's absolutely not the case with the players you've got. No, they've been fantastic, all of them. All the loan players have got a real connection with the, if you like, the core lads. But I think that's credit, before my time, that's credit to the club here about how well they select loan players and how well we do our due diligence with the scouting team, Mark Tracy and, and Jez, to get the right the right loans in. Um, but credit to all the loan players, they care. Uh, I think that's all you want from a loan player because you know their uncertainty going forward. But ultimately, you know, they care about winning for Lincoln City and I think they're really part of the family, which... Credit to the lads that bought and buy, credit to the club, but also credit to them as well. Uh, I have to ask you, Lucas Jensen, what's the, the latest on his situation? Yeah, so Lucas, um, he's had a, an injection. Uh, he's, had a, he's got a bad back. He's not been on the grass today, and I'm not sure um, the weekend. We don't think it's going to be long term, uh, which is good news. Uh, whether he makes this weekend or not is, um, yeah, we've got to see. But I was really, you know, the reason we train hard as well is Jordan. And I said it afterwards, you know, Jordan was fantastic. He made some big saves for us. So if Lucas is not ready, then Jordan's definitely ready and more than capable of stepping up and doing the job for us. And so will you, will you travel with a third keeper potentially to, to Reading to make sure you're back, obviously? Yeah, I think, you know, we, we might have to travel with a third, but or we'll just, if Lucas is not ready, we're going to have to travel with a, with a young lad. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We're, we're working that out day to day and hour to hour to make sure we make the right decisions. Uh, Reading will strike me as one of those teams that you have to slightly not look at the league position. I've seen them play in some games when they came to the LNER, I thought they were very good. They're, they're perhaps a bit better than their league position suggests at times. Yeah, I think if you look at Reading, one, first of all, I know they had their problems with their financial problems off the pitch, but they're still a big club and they've still got good players, you know, and they can really hurt you if you're not on top of it. And like Reading and maybe Wigan the same with their you know points deductions. The league position doesn't really tell you. When they came to our to our ground, I thought they were phenomenal on the day. Um, so we're going to have to be really on it. Um, I think we're in a very different place now than we were then, um, and the way we're playing is is stronger. So we're going to have to be on it. There's no doubt about it. We're going to have to be ready. Um, but I also think they have weaknesses that we can exploit. So I also think if we do our work well and we look after the, our side of things, I think we can hurt them. Um, but they'll be thinking the same. And another bigger way support. Yeah, it's, it's great, isn't it? Like, I thought the away support to Carlisle was not an easy place to get to. Um, was great after the back of Leighton Orient home support. Um, and then again, another away support. And I, I, I'm you know, fully uh, behind the supporters and the lads because you know, we're in this journey together and, you know, and it's exciting and it, we all want to be um, around it. So yeah, credit to, credit to everybody, but more than anything, credit for the Trotman fans.